Hello, my name is Magda Gushek. I am art faculty and gallery director of the Talon Gallery at Northland Pioneer College. And I'd like to welcome you to the short video where myself and the other jurors for the MPC juried high school art show will share some of our comments with you about the jury process and the top award winners in the art show. First of all, I'd like to say that we received um, a stunning amount of entries this year, 146 entries from 13 different high schools within our region. It was really impressive and we found the work overall to be very high quality. So congratulations to all of you who have submitted to this show. We will be talking to you a little bit about the top four best of show award winners. These students have been awarded um, NPC Art Tuition Scholarships for the 2022-2023 academic year. So extra special congratulations to all of you. Yeah, uh, hello, my name is uh, Peterson Yazi. I'm originally from Greasewood Springs, Arizona. My uh, home campus is actually in Holbrook. I'm art faculty with Northline Pioneer College. Um, I've been here uh, several years. Um, some of the art courses that I teach are um, drawing, painting, uh, basic design, printmaking. I also teach on Native American art and art appreciation. So um, if you were ever to you know, join us here at NPC, those are some of the courses that I, I help teach. So um, first of all, I wanna say uh, thank you to all the area high school teachers, instructors that were able to submit their students to the work. Um, you guys helped make the show possible. So we um you know, we very much appreciate it um and then you uh, also encouraging your students to you know take part in our show uh, it, it's been great so thank you um the high school show being one of those that we look forward to uh, throughout the year so this year was no exception um i also want to say uh congratulations to all the students that submitted their work into the show um I think a, you know to have your work accepted into a show such as this one, it's always um, a privilege and an honor. So um, congratulations. And then also to the award winners, um, honorable mentions, um, third place, second place, first place, and then most certainly our best of show um, awardees. So, and then um, those awards came with uh, art scholarships. So we certainly look forward to working with uh, some of you guys in the future. So. So oh, thank you so much. The best of show award in drawing this year goes to Sherman Key of Ganado High School. Sherman's piece is titled Summer Rodeo. So the use of a full composition makes this piece effective and complete. The pencil techniques from the fine lines to the soft blending employed by the artist allows this piece to stand out. The soft shades sit back into the distance to create a misty morning or afternoon effect, while the fine lines bring our attention to the rider, the horse, and the steer in the foreground. So the artist did a wonderful job of capturing our emotions with subject and technique. The Best of Show Award comes with an NPC Art Scholarship. A big congratulations to Sherman, and we hope to see you at NPC in the future. Hello, I'm Patrick Day, Production Manager and Technical Designer for NPC's Performing Arts Department. Today, I congratulate Canyon Coker of Blue Ridge High School, best of show entry to NPC's High School Art Show, digital artwork, View of the Self, for which Canyon will receive an art scholarship to Northland Pioneer College. This is Canyon's winning entry, View of the Self. His work is notable for its excellent use of color and contrast to create form, texture, and lighting. Background shades from medium to deep violet, both immersing the subject and revealing it in the shadow detail. Note also the economy of line used to describe the broad features of the face and hair and the minor details of the clothing, a truly arresting self-portrait. Congratulations again to Canyon Coker of Blue Ridge High School. Hi. My name is Nathan Cossum. I'm faculty in film and digital video here at NPC. And as always, it was a real privilege to be able to participate in this year's show. I'm going to be talking a little bit about um, Mackenzie Monroe's Navajo Wonder, which was the recipient of a scholarship award 
for best in show in photography. Let's take a look at the image. Black and white photography um, gives us the opportunity to think about not just physical spaces, but also the form of those spaces. It allows us to see um, something from the natural world in a more sort of abstract um, perspective. And this is a wonderful photograph um, of our region's canyons um, that approaches the canyon, um, not just as a space to visit, but as a particular way of looking at the world. Um, there's a great sort of idea here of sort of looking through the canyon. But what I especially like, um, just from the time I've spent in the Southwest, is the way in which you sort of watch the day move across the sky in canyons here. And you get a sense of that tremendous geologic time at work. This is a photograph that, of course, take, if taken at any other time of day, would look completely different, depending on where the shadows were lying, depending on how the sun hit the faces of the rocks. Um, so this exists as a very precise moment in time. Um, and it's a photograph that's especially attentive to, to framing um, and to thinking about the sort of relief image of the canyon itself. Um, it gives me a, a great sense of being there um, and a great sense of sort of having the time to think about the world around me. It's a really wonderful photograph. Thanks so much, Mackenzie, for your submission. Um, and it was a real privilege to be able to talk about it. Hello again. My name is Magda, and I am 3D art faculty based at White Mountain Campus in Sholo. I teach a variety of classes. My specialty is ceramics, but I also occasionally teach drawing. I teach digital photography, understanding art, as well as art history one and two. I'm here to introduce to you the best of show in 3D art award, which goes to Jake Perry for their piece, Forget Flowers. Jake is from Many Farms High School. Congratulations, Jake. What stood out to us about this artwork is the fluid and seamless combination of both 2D and 3D imagery. There's a very finely rendered image of a figure that is in the background. And there's a nice illusion of implied mass that's being created with some really intricate and elaborate shading with some darks and then lights. And then in front of this figure is an assemblage of what appears to be hand formed paper flowers. These are very intricately formed. All of the forms are different. Um, we can tell that a lot of work went into creating all of the different textures. There's a sense of unity in this piece that is happening with the addition of color, the sort of flat gold background that's then repeated in the various yellows, which are very carefully spaced to create a sense of rhythm as they go back um, into the, the depth, which appears to be coming from the figure's mouth. We also see unity created in some other warm colors like the um, pink tones and then also purples. And then there's a really lovely sense of depth in the way that space is considered in this piece with the flowers that are closer to us appearing to be um, handcrafted to be slightly larger and then smaller as they approach the figure's mouth. The look on the figure's face is puzzling, cryptic, a little bit haunting. And I think that that's another aspect of this piece that asks you to keep looking at it again and again. Congratulations, Jake, this is a lovely piece. I'd like to just say one more big congratulations to all of the participants and award winners. And I also want to mention that we offer several different types of art scholarships at NPC. And if you're interested in speaking more with any of us about any of our programs and specialties or finding out more about those scholarships, please feel free to contact us at the emails that are listed at the end of this video. Thank you and goodbye.